everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Kedantis. And I'm Jim Grimes. It has been a whirlwind 24 hours here in West Palm Beach, an attempt on the former president's life, the massive law enforcement response. That followed by tonight on the latest investigation into the suspected assassin. This morning, the suspect, Ryan Routh, went before a federal judge in downtown West Palm Beach. He is being held on two gun-related charges as prosecutors look to keep Routh Main t uh, detained while they continue the investigation into the more serious crime, that of course, the planned assassination. Shortly after the Secret Service took shots at Ralph on the golf course, he got into his car, raced away from the golf course, and Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office put out an all points bulletin for his arrest. You're looking at the newly released body cam footage from Ralph uh, being arrested by Martin County deputies. This after a brief chase down I-95, he was stopped and put in handcuffs. The sheriff, he says, he was unusually calm during the arrest. The investigation into the incident is being led by the FBI with the help from the U.S. Secret Service and the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. Local deputies and patrol cars have been blocking traffic near the golf course, and security in the area is extra tight. They're asking drivers to steer clear of South Congress Avenue and uh, Summit Boulevard. Summit remains closed, but it could possibly reopen tomorrow. Yeah, tonight we have live team coverage surrounding this, the second apparent assassination attempt on the former president. We begin with CBS 12 News Chief Investigator Mike Magnoli in Palm Beach County with the latest on the news conference that just wrapped up from the sheriff's office. Mike? Hey there, Liz and Jim. Good evening, everybody. We learned a lot in this news conference. Uh, as you said, it wrapped up a few moments ago, and we heard from the special agent in charge from the FBI. They're the ones heading up their, this investigation. So that's uh, Jeff Valtry, the acting director of the Secret Service, was even down here and uh, made some comments and took some questions. So what we want to do now here is replay some of the key moments from this news conference. Really uh, pay attention to these sound bites because they're very illuminating about where things stand in this investigation First up, we're going to hear from that special agent in charge talking about uh, the evidence. That is to say, uh, the FBI has some search warrants that they want to execute over the next couple of days to get a sense of uh, this suspect's background and what might have motivated this. Listen. The warrants include a video recording device, subjects' cellular devices, a vehicle, and other electronic devices located at previous known addresses. We are coordinating with the United States Secret Service to complete numerous interviews of agents on scene. We have also interviewed seven civilian witnesses at the scene, and that is just the beginning. Okay, so to dovetail off what you, what you just heard there, there's the GoPro camera that this suspect had. There's also his cell phone, that cell phone revealing that he was actually down here uh, and at the golf course 12 hours in advance of former President Trump playing this golf game. Next up here is a soundbite about what the suspect might have been thinking, um, the reason, and this is still early in the investigation, but there are some clues uh, as to what might have been behind this. Listen to this. Cellular data shows that the subject was in the vicinity of the golf course roughly 12 hours before the engagement with the United States Secret Service. Our investigative teams conducted a neighborhood canvas in an effort to collect and obtain relevant video footage. The subject had an active online presence and we are going through what he posted and any searches he conducted online. In addition, we're going through media reports and public statements he made that he wanted to recruit Afghan soldiers and others to fight for Ukraine. Yeah, he seemed to be very passionate about the war uh, between Russia and Ukraine. He even gave media interviews about that. So this is a cause that uh, he has been very, very involved with. Now, all of this comes, as you guys know, after an assassination attempt on former President Trump in Butler, Pennsylvania. So to see the acting director of the Secret Service down here, who has ties to West Palm Beach, uh, that's very significant, very relevant. And he talked about sort of the environment and the atmosphere around the former president as we near the election. I want you to hear this. Yesterday afternoon, this country was reminded of the heightened and dynamic threat environment that the United States Secret Service and its protectees face on a daily basis. Immediately following the assassination attempt of former President Donald J. Trump, 
on July 13th. The Secret Service moved to increase assets to an already enhanced security posture for the former president. In the days that followed, President Biden made it clear that he wanted the highest levels of protection for former President Trump and for Vice President Harris. The Secret Service moved to sustain increases in assets and the level of protection sought. And those things were in place yesterday. Back out with you live here. I did ask the special agent in charge from the FBI if this suspect acted alone. Did he have any help? He told me at this point, at this stage in the investigation, they think he was alone in this. I'm Jim Grimes. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.